Saturn Coins with Jack McNamara. Written by our founding fathers in the Declaration of Independence is this indelible truth. All men are created equal. They are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In order to secure these righteous principles for its citizens, the United States of America had fought through the Revolutionary War against the British. It wasn't until September 3rd of 1783 that our young nation had succeeded in liberating our ancestors from Britain's rule. Even with this newly achieved freedom, America still had much work to do before our glorious country was ready to flourish. Seventeen ninety two was a particularly special year as it marked a period of astounding growth for the United States. For one, America was still rapidly expanding, adding its 15th state, Kentucky, to the Union on June 1st, 1792. This monumental year also brought on the creation of the White House, which had its cornerstone laid down in Washington, D.C. on October 13th, 1792. Our unprecedented growth couldn't occur without financial stability. Thus, the Buttonwood Agreement was signed on May 17, 1792, creating the world's largest stock exchange, the New York Stock Exchange. Of all the monumental events occurring in 1792, the most significant may have been the signing of the Coinage Act of 1792. Prior to the release of official American coinage, Many of the coins circulating around the United States were foreign coins, such as German dollars and Spanish eight reals, as well as a plethora of privately minted coins. The founding fathers of our newly formed nation knew that to be taken seriously in the eyes of the world, America would need to initiate a national monetary system of its own. If our country continued to rely on the coinage of other nations, would there ever be a point where we gain true independence? With this in mind, the first president of the United States, George Washington, signed the Coinage Act of 1792. This act authorized the first U.S. Mint in history, established the dollar as America's standard unit of money, and created the denominations of coinage that would be used in our illustrious country. Although the first official U.S. coins were struck in 1793, there were some pattern coins minted before choosing the ideal coin designs to represent our country. A pattern coin is a coin that has not been approved for release, but has been struck specifically for the purpose of evaluating the design. These pattern coins are struck in minuscule quantities and often have minages in single digits. Rare Collectibles TV is lucky enough to have the privilege of sharing a private collection that includes three of the earliest U.S. pattern coins struck the year prior to the official opening of the U.S. Mint. These three coins include two varieties of the 1792 Birch Cent and the 1792 Eagle on Globe Quarter Dollar and are some of the most important coins in U.S. history due to their crucial role in establishing America's official coinage. As these coins were put into production by and for the founding fathers of our country, it is highly likely that these examples were held by and inspected by the likes of Thomas Jefferson, Alexander Hamilton, and even George Washington himself. As the first director of the U.S. Mint, David Rittenhouse, purchased land at 7th Street and 631 Filbert Street in Philadelphia in order to construct the first Philadelphia Mint. Initially, there were many design options to be struck for the U.S. Cent, one of which was Benjamin Franklin's famed Fujio Cent design. This iconic design showcased a sundial on the obverse with the inscription, Mind Your Business, and a chain link on the reverse. However, it was thought that this design could be easily counterfeited, so it was not selected. 
During this time, several different design ideas were proposed. Two of the most popular being the head of George Washington and the head of Lady Liberty. George Washington himself was adamantly opposed to placing his likeness on circulating U.S. coinage as he believed this practice was indicative of the monarchy of Britain that Americans had so fervently rejected. After days of heated debate between the House and the Senate, it was decided that the design of Lady Liberty would grace our coinage instead of the head of George Washington. The result was the 1792 birch cent, which displays a rendition of Lady Liberty's head that bears a striking resemblance to one of the first official pieces of U.S. coinage to be struck, the 1793 flowing hair large cent. These 1792 birch cents show an inscription of Liberty, parent of science and industry, surrounding Lady Liberty on the obverse, and the inscription of birch on Lady Liberty's bust line. The reverse displays the inscription United States of America along the rim with a wreath surrounding the denomination one cent in the middle of the coin. With an obverse that so closely resembles the first official U.S. cent to be struck, this 1792 birch cent is undeniably one of the most important coins to ever be produced. The 1792 birch cent has less than 10 coins in existence, and that's made up of four separate varieties. The first birch cent that we have, known as Judd III, has been graded about uncirculated 58 and exhibits a plain edge design, whereas all other birch scents showcase edge lettering. As the only known example that exhibits a plain edge design, this exquisite coin is an American treasure like no other. Currently, this stunning specimen of early American coinage is valued at $2 million. The second birch cent, known as Judd IV, is graded Mint State 65 star red brown and is by far the finest known example of any birch cent in any variety. This example is one of only seven that exhibits the edge lettering that reads, to be esteemed, be useful. It is a miracle that this example has been kept in this spectacular condition over the course of more than 200 years. Exhibiting red-brown coloring and proof-like surfaces, this coin was undoubtedly set aside and placed in optimal conditions for storage almost immediately after being struck. What makes this unique coin even more special is that it is pedigreed to the distinguished David Rittenhouse. As one of the few birch scents in existence and the only example pedigreed to David Rittenhouse, this remarkable piece of coinage has been valued at four and a half million dollars. This 1792 Eagle on Globe quarter dollar is a remarkable coin as it's just one of two examples that are known to exist. Graded Specimen 63, this stunning coin has been kept in significantly better condition than its AU50 counterpart, which is housed at the Smithsonian Institution. Joseph Wright, renowned American painter born in Bordentown, New Jersey, is responsible for this remarkable coin. The obverse of this mesmerizing coin showcases one of the most stunning renditions of Lady Liberty that has ever been struck onto a U.S. coin. Wright chose his wife, muse, and subject of many of his paintings, Sarah, as the model for this coin, as a way to immortalize her stunning beauty. In 1792, Joseph Wright was working with the United States Mint as a die sinker, and although he was never officially given the title of engraver, it's believed that he more or less fulfilled this role. This theory is held by many due to a letter addressed to George Washington from Thomas Jefferson shortly after the death of Wright. In this letter, Thomas Jefferson explains that due to the passing of Wright, 
the mint will require a new nomination for engraver. This suggests that Wright was the original nominee for the first chief engraver position of the United States Mint before his death. Unlike many pattern coins that were created before the official release of U.S. coinage, the obverse of the eagle on globe quarter dollar is inscribed with just the word liberty. Most pattern coins of the time, however, had the much lengthier inscription of liberty, parent of science and industry. As official coinage production began at the U.S. Mint, it was decided that like the Eagle on Globe Quarter, only the word liberty would appear on the obverse. In this regard, the Eagle on Globe Quarter Dollar established the layout for generations of future American coins to come. The reverse of this quarter dollar bears an eagle that is significantly different than that of other early U.S. pattern coins. Perched atop the earth, this eagle is valiant in stature as it exudes the air of a sovereign guardian. One particularly interesting design choice of this coin is that there's no inscription of the denomination at all. This has led to speculation that the intended home of this design could have been on the reverse of the scent. However, it's generally accepted that this design was intended for the quarter. As one of the only coins to be designed by Joseph Wright, this finest known 1792 Eagle on Globe quarter dollar has a numismatic legacy like no other. As one of just two examples known, one of which is unattainable as it's part of the Smithsonian's permanent collection, this mesmerizing coin is valued at $3.8 million. With such a long and illustrious history of producing some of the finest coin designs the world has seen, the earliest origins of U.S. coinage are often overlooked. Be it the 1792 Birch Cent or the 1792 Eagle on Globe Quarter Dollar, the pattern coins struck before the opening of the U.S. Mint have had an undeniable impact on our country's numismatic history. In many ways, these remarkable coins provided a blueprint for the most beloved American coins to ever be struck. Whether you collect Morgan Dollars, St. Gaudens Double Eagles, Liberty Head Gold Eagles, or American Silver Eagles, these coins may not be around today if it wasn't for the exceptional pattern coins of early America.